Hello, everybody. My name is Max. I'm the Global Chief Product Officer at Darktrace. And I want to speak to you not about really cool offensive security and how to use AI for hacking, but something more mundane but very impactful for us as def defenders, which is using machine learning to transform SOC operations. So if I break down the challenge we have in the investigative process, there's a ton of things, right? I used to be a SOC analyst myself. I used to use various tools. There's always just many alerts. There's a lack of context. So not only are you swamped, it's also very hard to make a judgment on them and understand what's going on if you don't have a ton of skill. Too many screens. The next point is super important, actually. The cognitive load to investigate sits with the human team. So even if we have our super-tuned source system, our XDR, our SIM aggregate that is presenting your analyst with a package of alerts, they need to go and investigate, understand, analyze, come to conclusions. So that cognitive load, that sits with the analyst team. And like I said earlier, you're competing with a ton of other companies for that talent on level two and three SOC analysts. So we thought a lot about how we can break this down and replicate this and automate this with machine learning and traditional automation. And I want to get across the concept and then give you some examples how machine learning can play into this. But it really comes down to breaking down the whole detection engine into the initial detection. This could be your EDR throwing some malware alert. This could be your identity security. This could be your network security saying there's some beaconing going on or lateral movement. Could be anything. And that's normally your initial lead. But once you have that, your human team then goes and analyzes this. So whatever your initial detection is, they try to come to a conclusion. Is this good? Is this bad? What's the context? And we asked ourselves, how can we replicate this human cyber investigation process? So we at Darktrace, we've got a bunch of very good analysts set for years, and we talked to them. How do you investigate, let's say, a network scan? How do you understand lateral movement? What are the steps you take as an expert analyst to see if this email is malicious or benign or what's going on there? Then we also had actually Chrome plugins running for a lot of our analysts for years to understand how they quantitatively investigate incidents. So when they see, let's say, an Nmap scan, do they look at the source ports first? Do they look at the destination ports? Do they look at the protocols being used? Do they try to understand what data is being touched? Do they try to understand where the scan is coming from? All of these things just go through the mind of an analyst when they look at a detection. So we really want to understand what is in the mind of an analyst. And we basically can then break it down to three big steps. Hypothesis creation that I just talked about. Then data collection, you want to understand and prove, is this lateral movement? Is this a good scan? Is this a bad scan? Is this IT admin activity? Is this maybe some malware initiating the scan? So you go and write queries and you get data back. And then you evaluate that data to finally say, ah, it's maybe anomalous, but not that interesting. Or I think we've got a pretty big incident at our fingertips. And then we want to replicate each of these steps with machine learning and automation. And this led us to what we call an AI analyst. And this is not a Gen AI chatbot or just an XDR or something like that where any lead can be taken, any initial detection, then the AI analyst goes and does what a human would do. It creates hypotheses, it gathers data by writing context-based queries by itself, and evaluates that data to finally come to conclusions and say, I think there might be an incident behind this. Mm -hmm.